How do you balance loyalty to your workmates and a personal sense of honor with self-interest when it comes to career progression? So uh, this question is, is, has, is giving the impression that, that being loyal to your bros and being loyal to your workmates and, and having pride Mm-hmm. is the opposite of of career pro- progression yeah. which is actually i understand where that is coming from but it actually does not have to be true that does not have to be the way you think the you, the way you get around this is number one you work hard that's what you do you work hard and you do a good job not for promotion mm-hmm. not for self interest but to help the team accomplish the goal. That's what you should be working hard for. That's what you should be doing a good job for. And if you're and this is something I've said a bunch of times over the years. I don't know if I've ever said it on the podcast before, but I used to tell my guys, because we'd be we'd be in some long term administrative psychological warfare in our community, in in the in the SEAL teams or in our organization. And I'd say, look, if we're doing the right thing for the right reason. We're going to win in the end. Mm-hmm. And, and I totally believe that to be true. Now, for instance, I never really cared about rank or being promoted. Now, that being said, I actually did put in an officer package so that I could become an officer. Now, why did I do that? I didn't do that out of greed or out of hunger for power. I did it because I had worked for a prior enlisted officer and he made our lives really good because he was a really good leader. And I said, you know what? I'd like to make a bunch of the guys that I know, make 16 guys in a SEAL platoon, make their lives better. Maybe I can do that. So that, that's sort of what led me to do it. I didn't do it out of, out of self-interest and greed. I did it to help my bros. Right. Now, th- then once I got promoted and once I became an officer, then I just busted my ass to do the best job I could. And again, I was never concerned with being promoted, but in order to do a good job, guess what I did? I built relationships. I took some hard jobs. I followed the rules. I supported the chain of command. I told the party line. Why did I do those things? It wasn't because I was trying to get promoted. It was because I was trying to do a good job. Mm-hmm. And the more relationships I had and the more respect I had from the chain of command, the more power I had to help my guys. Mm-hmm. It wasn't about power for me. It was about power for the good of the platoon so I could accomplish it. And, and I knew that I believed in the broad mission that we were doing. I knew that good order and discipline actually makes troops perform better. I knew that. And I knew that... By following the rules, by supporting the chain of command, I knew that towing the party, I knew that those things would build trust in the chain of command. And I knew that building trust in the chain of command and being viewed positively from up the chain of command meant that I would get more support from the chain of command, which once again would make it easier for my guys to do their job because I could get them more gear. I could get them the assets that they needed. I could actually legitimately protest if something came down the pipe that I didn't agree with. If I didn't have trust and had built a relationship with my senior uh, officers, how could I go back to them and say, hey, I don't think we should be doing this. They don't know me. They don't trust me. But when you build that trust, then you can have a more open and honest conversations, which again is only done so that my platoon can have an easier life so that they can do their job better because I believed in the mission. Mm -hmm. So everything that I was doing, that I was doing to make my platoon have a better go at things, make my platoon more efficient, make my platoon more effective on the battlefield. All those things that I was doing, I was doing to make that. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, when you're doing those things, when you're busting your ass, when you're trying to make life good for your platoon so that your platoon can more effectively and efficiently accomplish its mission on the battlefield, well, guess what? Those are aligned with a guy that's working hard and is supporting the chain of command. So I would get ranked number one. Why? 
not because I was trying to get promoted, not for self-interest. It's because I was trying to do a good job for my boys. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is if you care about doing a good job and the, the th and you're doing things that will help you do a good job, again, not for promotion and not for recognition, but to truly do a good job, the end result is most likely going to be positive. Now, the caveat to this is, does that mean that you'll be the first person to get promoted? No. Does it mean that you are guaranteed to get promoted? No. Some other guy that Brown knows and took all the credit he didn't deserve and stepped on a people's backs to get to the top he's probably going to get promoted ahead of you he probably is it's okay it's okay i will tell you that that will come back to haunt him eventually maybe not this year maybe not next year maybe in five years people are going to see through that eventually and you who's doing the right things for the right reasons you will win in the end yeah, and we talk about this a lot where if you're doing it just to get the promotion, yeah, that's they're going to see that, man. They're going to smell be it that on guy. you. guy. Yeah. And not only is the boss going to everyone's going to smell it on you. I, I talked about that earlier tonight because if you were going to, if you volunteer, like if you volunteered to be the Admiral's aide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then that was a total red flag. <laughs> Watch well, out for this guy. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be doing the right things for the right reasons. Yeah. And that is that is how, in the long run, you will get the recognition and the promotions and the credit that you deserve. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah. You're busting your ass to do a great job. Yep. You're going to get, you're going to shine eventually. Yeah, man. And if you're focused on doing the best job you can do, that's the be that's really the, di the, the dynamics of promotions anyway. It is. It, or it should be ideally. It should you know, from be an ideal ideally, standpoint. and over time, it will be. Because there is somebody that Brown knows is the boss yeah. that maneuvers to take these little missions or to do things to get the recognition that he's... There's, there's a guy that's doing that. Yeah. And they can get promoted. And you got to accept that and not succumb to it, not submit to it. Because yeah. you don't want to be that guy. In the long run, the guy that busts his ass, that takes care of his troops, that toes the party line, that does the right things for the right reasons is going to win in the end. Yeah. You got to believe in that. Yeah, man. You know how guys do that in jujitsu, right? Sometimes. Oh, we talk about that too. Where they what have do the, they do? They have the wrong mindset. They just want that purple oh, belt or that brown belt or whatever. Yeah, they want the next belt. Um, or I want to tap that guy or I want to tap this yeah. guy. Yeah, those are the wrong reasons. Yeah, folks. Yeah, and, and if That's you notice, the guys who who are just in it to be the best that they can be. You see them asking questions or going over some stuff, you know, on their own kind of thing where they do, they just want to learn as much as they can and get good at as much as they can. And in the long run, those are going to be the, the guys that shine. Yeah. And man, if I, and I think, man, I think this, that's, it's such a huge deal and it goes for jujitsu or even at, at work or whatever. If, man, if you're the guy who they can see what you're doing and you're, kissing ass or, or or like the guy okay this is one of the most embarrassing things you can do in my opinion in jujitsu uh -oh. is after a promotion you didn't get promoted and then you're overtly unhappy about it yeah and don't go one step further and say something about oh i tap that guy all the time and he got his <laughs> belt oh don't ever do it don't do it yeah bro oh, don't I'm telling say you, it. don't do it yeah that doesn't that doesn't bode well I don't think you could ever really live that down. It's just man. unnecessary. It just shows, hey, guys, look at me. I'm focused on the wrong thing. I'm <laughs> focused on, like, wearing a belt rather than my skill, yeah. you know? I'd rather get a belt and maybe not have the skill. I'd rather that than have the skill and maybe not have the belt right now. That's what you're saying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The you, reality that, is any good jujitsu guy would rather have the skill and, and not have the belt. the belt right now by the way yeah. not have the belt right now yeah, yeah, yeah. if you have the skill you'll get the you're belt the belt's you know that's come. just part of the, the system and you know what it could be a long time yeah and you Great. know what that's okay oh unless you quit then you won't have the oh belt. yeah then you, yeah, won't, but, you won't have the belt but that's not who, but you've got to also you. accept the fact that some guy's gonna get promoted ahead of you yeah good good good, good thing you good you tapped them before yeah. good good
That's perfect. Keep, keep that up. Yeah. We're going to get you that belt. Yeah, stop whining. I heard of a guy who left the gym. Yeah. Our gym. Because he didn't get a belt. And he was like, oh, I'm just going to go somewhere else. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, I just heard it was a story. I wasn't there enough. 